What's up guys, Chrissy 20 and the crew here, and we have another gaming topic for you guys today. And we're going to be discussing the rumors and the leaks that are just now speculating about Call of Duty 2023, which is rumored to be the Modern Warfare 3 reboot. So we're going to get into it and we're going to tell you guys why this is a complete disaster for Call of Duty and pretty much go on a rant here. So as you guys know, with Modern Warfare 2, the 2022 reboot, uh, when it was coming out, they promised us a two-year development cycle and that 2023 they were going to take a gap year for the first time since 2003 and they were going to give us a break because you know we've been getting tapped out we've been feeling a lot of fatigue with the series so they were going to give us a two-year development cycle or two years with the new game and then they were going to put that time into working on the next one and then as we all know that kind of just unraveled and completely fell apart at the seams because modern warfare 2 was a complete disaster and is a terrible game nobody wants to play it it's so boring it's the game is just complete cancer everyone's just sweating their ass off the kill streak sucks the maps suck the, the, the game's not fun at all the skill based matchmaking just ruins every bit of the game and we wanted to make this video not only because the leaks and the rumors are going around about the next game but also because there was a report out by an independent group who did a survey of call of duty players and the report out is that if the new game is the modern warfare 3 re reboot the cod community is going to boycott this next game which i think that would be great if they actually did it but call of duty fans have been saying this for as long as i can remember and I don't think they've ever once followed through on it. So, Dad, what do you think about how Activision kind of pulled the wool over our eyes and lied to us? And what do you think about the fact that we are going to get a game in 2023? And what do you think about the fact that it's going to be Modern Warfare 3 when we just got Modern Warfare 2 last year? And then I want you to tell us what you think about the potential... Uh, boycott of this game by the COD fanboys. So, yeah, like you said, Call of Duty fanboys are like, oh, we're going to boycott the next game. But they never do. Because you know why? They're naive and the majority of the fan base is little children. All they want every year is Call of Duty for Christmas. You know what they get? Call of Duty. Even Infinite Warfare, the worst rated Call of Duty by the community. Guess what? It was still the number one most sold game that year. So, if that says anything... You know, Call of Duty will never die, right? And since Microsoft was actually is about to get the acquisition for Activision, we're not going to really see any changes until probably early next year once everything's finalized and Microsoft now has Activision's patent. So Modern Warfare 3 is still going to be a subpar garbage game. And if you're one of those idiot people that is like, oh, I'm going to pre-order the next Call of Duty game, you are the problem. You know why you don't pre-order games anymore? It's because the developers don't care if the game's good or not. They just care if they make money. That's why Call of Duty has been in such a piss-poor state for the last four years. They don't care if the game's good. They want your money. You know what else they want? They want more of your money even after the game comes out. Oh, but we gave you guys free DLC. Guess what? The free DLC is weak. It sucks. Remember back in the day during the Golden Era Call of Duty? Yeah, you bought a season pass, which is an extra 40 bucks. But you got guaranteed maps. You got a guaranteed zombies experience. And if it was an IW game, you got a guaranteed Spec Ops. Whatever. Spec Ops sucks. But still, you got guarantees with the season pass. Nowadays, you don't know if you're going to get one or two maps a month. And if anything, if they're original maps from IW... Some of the maps that they've made in the new Marfa 2 are garbage. Some of the worst flowing maps I've ever seen. They're consistent. Oh, we got to keep making Dead Silence not a perk because it's too overpowered. Guess what? Ninja existed in the Golden Era Call of Duty. It wasn't a problem. And also, footsteps weren't allowed to shit either. But Call of Duty is not a Milsim game. And IW keeps doing that. But back to Marfa 3. So this game was supposed to be a DLC add-on for Modern Warfare 2, but now it's just a full-fledged release. And if that says anything, the game's going to be rushed. And if I'm remembering correctly, I'm pretty sure all the multiplayer maps on Modern Warfare 3 are going to be all the ones from Modern Warfare 2 OG. So even still, 
they should have just put all the Modern Warfare 2 OG maps on Modern Warfare 2 in their own playlist. And Modern Warfare 3, the game coming up this year, should have all the Modern Warfare 3 maps. Wow. Yeah. But... <coughs> And it's made by Sledgehammer, and Sledgehammer promises, oh, we're going to have traditional UAV. Uh, we're going to add Death Silence back into the perk category, but now it's classified as gear, so you can change your plate carry, your boots, your gloves, and, like, your helmet or something. They got some weird outside-of-the-box thinking again, which the whole, I'm sure they're going to mess it up and make it terrible, but I don't know. I'm not hopeful for Modern for 3. I haven't played Modern for 2 in about a month and a half now, and... You know what? I don't plan on going back to the game. The game is so bad. I hate it. But what else do you have to say about Modern Warfare 3? Well, I kind of am excited for the campaign just because I want to see what they do with Makarov. But other than that, I have no excitement whatsoever in my body for this next Call of Duty game. I would rather get my ass beat every day for the next two years than buy this new Call of Duty game if it's going to be anything like the current Modern Warfare 2 reboot. Because it is one of the worst Call of Duty games ever made. Other than Call of Duty MW 2019, of course. And the fact that Activision lied to us and just screwed us over blatantly and so brazenly by the fact that they said they were going to give us two years with this game and we were going to get all the OG MW2 maps and all these promises and then they just pull the rug out from underneath us and say, ha ha, gotcha. Well, you know what? Activision and Infinity Ward, screw you guys. I'm not buying your next game. It's probably going to be complete trash. What incentive do I have to go out and buy Modern Warfare 3 a year after I got screwed on Modern Warfare 2? You know full well they don't. They did not have anywhere near enough time to make a good game. This is going to be a complete rush job. Just putting it out there to get some money and only because they're going to milk the nostalgia of the OG MW3, which... Just like they did with Modern Warfare 2. That's the whole reason I sold good. Oh, we're going to capitalize on old players' nostalgia. And guess what? It worked. You idiots bought it. Yeah, and I guarantee you there will be idiots that rush out and buy it just because it's called Modern Warfare 3, which is sad and pathetic. And you know what? To all you COD fanboys who keep saying that Call of Duty's dead, if you say that, then don't buy the next one. How about you actually stick to your word for once instead of bitching away about the game and then just going right back on your word the next second whenever it's convenient for you. And another thing I wanted to address with this is people keep mentioning this to me, which I don't give a, a crap about it, is the fact that you can transfer over your your camos or whatever the hell. I do not care about cosmetics. I don't care about camos. I don't care about microtransactions. And I can probably say this as a COD player, and I don't think probably anyone else in the entire COD community can say this. But in my entire life, I have never spent a dime on any microtransactions in Call of Duty. The only things I've ever bought in Call of Duty have been map packs. And that is the only thing anybody should ever buy. If you spend your real money on a camo or um, a little decal that hangs on the side of the gun, you are a pathetic loser joke. And you are the reason why this game is going down down the drain so quickly because you're willing to pay for anything even if it's not worth a damn because you guys are so stupid so i'm not excited for this game at all i'm not buying it um and i guess infinity or uh, sledgehammer's making it don't know why that is they are terrible they've had they have the worst track record out of anybody so i'm completely skipping this if this report is true and the cod uh, fanboys or whoever these people are are going to boycott the game, good. But I doubt they'll actually do it. So I'm not getting this game. I'm I'm <laughs> holding off for next year with Treyarch's game. And this is our last chance, you guys, to get this right. If Treyarch lets us down and Treyarch doesn't come through for us, we're going to be in big trouble, the COD community is. Because we just can't take another letdown after we've had four straight years of just complete disappointment. Activision... And all these developers, they've let us down. That's that's all there is to say about it. They've let us down. So we're really at an end here with Call of Duty. And uh, that's really all I have to say. Dad, what what else do you have here? Yeah, if you guys are going into Marvel 3 thinking, oh, you know, they're, they made the promise of the minimap. Remember, Modern Warfare 2 is supposed to be a two-year game. A broken promise. Guess what? They're probably going to break their promises again. So if you go into the game thinking you're going to get all this and they go back on your word, 
you look like the idiot because you went in thinking, oh, they're going to have the traditional man. Guess what? They could just pull the rug out from under you like they did to us with Modern Warfare 2. So don't be optimistic. Don't buy the game on release. And if you do want to buy the game six months in the life cycle when it might actually be a finished game, cool, whatever. But do not buy Modern Warfare 3 on release. My final word. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and we'll see you guys all in the next video. Modern